Thank you for your service and for your hard sacrifices. You have successfully completed your service to our country. That's the fact, Jack! That's the fact, Jack! And now you have this amazing tool at your disposal in the form of a VA loan. And now it's time for you to use it for your own personal needs. But what properties would qualify for you? And that is what we are jumping on right after this. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor with Nationwide Real Estate Executives here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week. And frankly, I could kind of use the self-esteem right now. This lockdown thing is kind of getting to me. So hit that button, ring the bell. But I do put out videos every single week about Long Beach, all about the things that you want to know about Long Beach and the surrounding cities, where you want to live, where you want to work, where you want to eat, and where you want to play, and even about what properties qualify for a VA loan. I have been helping so many people relocate here to the Long Beach area or one of the surrounding cities through this channel. And I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website and I will personally reach out to you so we can casually discuss your goals about your relocation. So today we're talking all about the types of property that VA loans qualify for. After completing your service in the military, the government rewards you with a Veterans Administration loan, allowing you to put down nothing, zero down on a home, no PMI, less money at closing costs, and this really, really is a great benefit to you. Now, does every single home qualify for you to purchase with a VA loan? No, no. Unfortunately, not all the properties do qualify, and there is a couple of good reasons for this. So let's dive into detail on how to determine if a property, if you want to buy it, if it will be eligible for a VA loan, or if you want to sell your home, if it would be eligible for a VA loan. So the way I look at it, this is a reward to you for sacrificing your time protecting our nation. That's the fact, Jack! That's the fact, Jack! So bottom line is, this house has to have three S's. It has to be safe, secure, and sound. Just me, it can't even have a broken window. If a stove needs to be there, it better be there. The, the heating system better be working great. And it has to be secure, meaning nobody could easily break into the place. And not to mention structurally sound. So basically it is safe, it is clean, it is not a fixer up. Because the VA does not want to loan money to its service members to put them into a piece of crap house just because it looked like a good deal on, on paper. So, no, they're not going to loan money on that property. But if it has ugly paint, it's got that carpet in there that's back dated to the 70s. Yeah, baby. I bet you thought it was going to throw in an Austin Powers outtake there, huh? Well, that's just all cosmetic and that all could be taken care of, leaving your house structurally sound. But if the previous owner had started a kitchen remodel and only got about a third of the way through, then had to move, well, no, the VA will not loan uh, money on that property. The roof has to be in good shape. It has to have at least five years of life left on the shingles. So if you're on year 23 on a 25 year roof, yeah, it's probably gonna have to be replaced. So if you're looking at a home that's got an older roof, good luck getting the seller to uh, try to replace that roof because nobody really wants to spend three between $3,000 to $15,000 depending on what type of roof they need to put on and then move out right away. Now the house is also gonna be required to have a clear pest report on file. So a termite inspector is gonna come out, he's gonna do his thing, He's gonna write up the, the uh, report stating that this house is free and clear. If they do find a problem, well, it has to be taken care of before closing. Now, if you're looking at a manufactured home or a mobile home, it can get a little tricky, but basically you just gotta uh, make sure that it's on a permanent foundation. You can't just roll your car up to it, 
hook it up and drive it off. But even then, it may vary from lender to lender. Some will do this and others won't. So if you're thinking about one of these options, make sure you are talking to a lender that will allow this. Now, if you're looking at condo, they have to be approved developments by the VA. So there is a website where you can type in the name of the community and find out if it is allowed by the VA or not. Now, if they do not approve of that certain subdivision, it's not happening. They're not gonna loan money on it, period. They will also not loan money on vacant land. So if you're planning on just buying that piece of property so you can eventually build, build your badass retirement home on, well, they can't do that one either. But on the other hand, the absolute best properties for VA buyers to look at is new construction. Simply because we know there's not gonna be any problems when you go through your walkthrough. Okay, if the stove there needs to be replaced or fixed, the, the builder has one of two options, fix it or replace it, done before the closing. The house will definitely be safe, it will be secure, and it will be sound. Now just remember, for this type of loan, the newer, the less problems you will run into. Just make sure that the homes that you are looking at are not fixer uppers. They might need a little cosmetic work, all that can be done by you. But as long as you have the three S's, safe, secure, and sound. Let's go and make that offer. So now you know what type of properties do qualify for a VA loan. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found some information in it that you could use. Now, if you did like it, please just give me a thumbs up there. Give me a like. I would appreciate that very much. And until next time, stay safe. How did he do that?